I'm Phil, I'm 72, and I'm young at heart. Woohoo! Hello and welcome to Young at Heart, a show that highlights active seniors right here in your community. I'm your host, Ron Roberson. Now today, I'm here at the gym inside the Fountain Valley Senior Center. I've got my water bottle, I've got my towel, and I've got my good friend here, Gail, to give me some pointers. Gail, how are you? Great, how are you doing today? Excellent, and so good to see you. Now you're responsible for making sure everybody uses the equipment properly, and you train them and show them different things. Now for someone who's just starting out and wants to change their lifestyles, what kind of suggestions would you give them? First, get an okay from your doctor. Make, make sure you're healthy enough to do everything in the room. And my other tips would be a good warm up, good workout, go hard, and then a nice cool down. Okay, and I'm sure you're getting ready to send me through all of that right Absolutely. about now, aren't you? All right. <laughs> and speaking of taking charge of your health, seniors in the city of Stanton decided to get some answers themselves when they attended a resource fair aimed specifically at staying healthy. Take a look. The resource fair at the Stanton Community Service Center offered a wonderful opportunity for seniors. Guests picked up valuable information on a variety of topics focusing on their health and overall well-being. Many people also took advantage of the free health screenings that were offered. Okay, 128 over 70, so let's get this good. As you age in, in uh, general, I mean things like heart, liver, and uh, you know lungs and stuff like that have a tendency to fade as you get older. If they go to these health fairs, they can find out what their blood pressure is, they can find out what their blood sugar is. Taking care of yourself is going to increase your life and the quality of life that you you choose to achieve. Health screenings are a great way for seniors to get answers and take control of their health. Make sure that your eyes are nice and clear. Everything looks normal, which is great. Um, if you look at the screen, mm -hmm. you see this part right here? Yes. That's your artery. Okay. okay. Now, if there's any kind of plaque buildup, you would see it like here. Now, this is still somewhat okay, mm -hmm. but this is what we're trying to avoid. That. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, this can easily turn to this. I'm deciding, should I know or should I not know? But then you just answered me by saying, you should know to prevent it. And then you showed me that example. So, which is, that really helps me because I don't want to be exactly. together. And it can be scary, um, but that's the only way you'll be able to prevent it or fix, you know. Or fix it. Exactly. It. Consistent health care and paying attention to details each and every day is vital to seniors who want to stay strong and healthy. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah, so it's good for the, uh, the seniors to uh, stay active, eat well, take care of whatever nutritional supplements they need, and also uh, make sure that they stay young at heart. Yeah. How am I doing, Gail? All right, looking good. Get, you got the incline up high enough, you got your speed. Your eventual goal is to let go of your arms and walk like that. Like that. Okay. Heel the toe. Heel the toe. Remember, never on your tippy toes. Okay. All right. Looking good. How long should I stay on here? At least 10 minutes for your warm minutes. up. Uh -huh. If you're here longer, you know, for cardio, 20, 20 to 30 minutes. Okay. But let's start out with 10. All right, can I, can I hold on for a minute? I, you may hold I'm a, on. I'm a senior citizen. <laughs> okay. <laughs> now you've got to take a look at these senior women who walked the red carpet at the Fit and Fabulous Fashion Show right here in Fountain Valley. Who sent you?
The Fountain Valley Senior Center was beaming with excitement and anticipation for the sixth annual Fit and Fabulous Show. music and down-home theme of denim and diamonds delighted the guests who were eager to have a great time. As the guests met up with friends and shopped for fancy mementos, oh, that is <laughs> the models prepared for their walk down the red carpet. But what a way to start the week on a Monday to do this. To go out to eat, wash spatchums, meet new people, the Fountain Valley Senior Center volunteers added the zad to the festivities as they served up a tasty lunch for all the guests. And soon it was time for the highlight of the day. Welcome to the Center at Founders Village Senior and Community Center and the sixth annual Fit and Fabulous Fashion Show. Being a model was a lot of fun because we got to enter, show off these gorgeous garments, plus the fact that a lot of our friends were sitting in the audience. So from the Fountain Valley Women's Club and the Historical Society, our mayor of course was in the audience, so a lot of women who can actually wear these clothes. So that's the good news. But even better is obviously the fundraising for the City of Fountain Valley and the senior programs because that's very important. The senior programs got a big boost in much needed funds because of this creative, fun-filled event. The Senior Center in Fountain Valley is a warm, welcoming place that's just like a second home to so many. We have so many activities going on here in our center. I use the word center, our. See that? Our center. Because I live here in Fountain Valley for almost 35 years. If I could only invite everybody to come over here, this is a very friendly, awesome place, and they make you feel like you're at home. Yes. What a fantastic event. Stay with us. We're just getting started. Woo. Taking care of a family member can lead to plenty of questions. Fortunately, there's a place to get the answers for them and for you. Find articles, tips, and tools from experts and others who have been in your place. The Caregiving Resource Center at aarp.org slash caregiving. In here now. All right, forward lunges with a hammer curl. So you okay. want to bring that right leg forward, track with your knee and ankle, mm -hmm. bring it back. Left leg forward, down and back. Now we're going to add a hammer curl. So bring those arms up. Oh, mama, I feel that. <sighs> and the other leg. Yeah. Mm. Awesome. Nice. Wow. Boy, I feel that all over my body. <laughs> She's giving me quite the workout here, I tell you. Now let's go over to the city of Westminster where seniors got an early morning start on their longevity stick class. Oh, that kind of hurts a little bit. Do that too.
The longevity stick class taught at the Westminster Senior Center carries with it a rich history. Master Mai Bak Dao spent five years in a communist labor camp in Vietnam. Malnourished, he became very ill there. Struggling to regain his health, he developed a 12-step longevity stick exercise program. To avoid the prison guards, he and his fellow prisoners had to do the exercises in secret. When he got out of the camps, well, he prayed at that time, he told us. He prayed, he said, if I get well from doing these exercises, I'll dedicate my life when I leave. And, and uh, that's what he did. So his good friend that was in the camps was there for 13 total years. And he told us that if he had not had these exercises, he would have died. So he's really grateful. Master Dao was encouraged by coming from Vietnam and the Americans saving him. So he wanted to give him something back. And what a gift. I mean, uh, I had a chance to meet him actually get my certificate from him, which is a great honor, and to meet him and uh, see him in action. Master Dow's dream to bringing this program to the West became a reality. He taught his first class at the Westminster Senior Center back in 1995. The concept has quickly spread, and there are now classes throughout the West. People join together to develop balance, flexibility, and strength with the help of the longevity stick. There's 12 movements, four sets of three movements each. The first set is the upper half of the body. The second set is the lower half of the body. Then the third and fourth set, we start doing some crazy stuff. You want to start out slow in all exercise. Get you get your heart beat up and that's what we do here, and then slowly taper it off towards the end. A lot of people from physical therapists and doctors to chiropractors have all watched this very closely and gave the rubber stamp and said, this is good. I'm a massage therapist. I'm pretty, you know, pretty good shape, so, but I, I came and I found that it's really good for me to know what range of motion people can't do, and I can address those muscles. And so I do it every day. It's one of those things that once you get used to it, you want to keep coming back. You almost need to do it. You like that level of alertness and uh, agility, which this brings. So uh, that's why I do it. The longevity stick class is free, and people of all ages are welcome. So grab a stick and find a class near you today. Okay, we'll be right back with a story that will have you on the edge of your seat as some Stanton residents go off into the wow blue yonder. <laughs> Hart, what's going on? I'm leaving. Why? What did I do? Not enough. The pressure is too much. I quit. I get it. I can do better. Just please don't leave. Don't let your heart quit on you. Get your uncontrolled high blood pressure to a healthy range before it's too late. Nine out of ten. Whew. 
Don't tell Gail, but that was really about five. Anyway, you better buckle up for this next story. It's time to meet some kind-hearted veterans with an appreciation for aviation. of 95, Edwin Willems enjoys life at the Roundtree Gardens Senior Living Community in Stanton. When the staff asked him if he'd like to go on an amazing adventure, his response was quick. Oh yes, I, I immediately said, sure, let's do it. Yes. We kind of think of ourselves as a place to come continue to live life rather than live out the rest of your life. And with that, uh, we always want to put opportunities in front of our community members that allow them to do things on their bucket list. And today's about the bucket list. If any questions, come to us and we'll Recently, some residents were given an opportunity yeah, to take their to dreams to new heights. Okay, okay Chuck, we're going to come on out Go here. They were invited by the Ageless Aviation Dream Foundation to fly an open cockpit World War II biplane. Aviation Dreams, we have a mission statement, very clear mission, and that is to give back to those that have given. And we do that in a very unique and special way by giving uh, flights to seniors and veterans living in long-term care communities. We give them flights in a 1940s Boeing Stearman. It's an open cockpit biplane. It takes them back a lot of years. It's something that they never think they'll do again. And we do it free of charge as a way of saying thank you to them for what they've done for us. Chuck, how was it? It was great. Why don't you give that a try? Okay. Thank you that for your was service, just great. Thanks for your service, yeah. thanks for coming out, thanks for ever, all your I mean, dedication and contributions and sacrifices. We appreciate that. That's well. Okay, let's get a picture over here. Smile! Okay. <laughs> it was more than I expected. It really was. You're totally relaxed and you're looking around. You don't even know you're near. You really don't feel that you're in the air. And you're just looking around for what's next to you. Know, or it's just an enjoyment. It really is. It's just a great day. I just hated to come down. <laughs> How are you doing today? Thank you. I'm Mike. Can we fly with you today? Yes. Okay, excellent. During World War II, Edwin Willems was a plane mechanic in the Navy. Occasionally, the pilots would let him join them and fly the planes. Today's experience brought back powerful memories from days long ago. Well, thank you for the fun. Yeah, we, uh, really appreciate we, it. we enjoy this. We got to green the crop here when we take you guys up. We really well, love it. Thank you for seeing us. Yeah. Brought back a lot, a lot of good memories. So that was that was really, really nice. And the flight was very smooth, very nice. I like the sound of that engine too. Sounded really good. I noticed that we were traveling about a thousand feet. We flew out over the coast, came back around and it was a just a just pleasant experience. Not, uh, very smooth. 95 years old, so still able to enjoy these things. I think it's pretty great. The Navy Seabees paved roadways and airstrips and built entire bases and military theaters dating back to World War II. And Suford knows about these efforts since her husband was a CB commander for 25 years. The 
anticipation of strapping on those goggles and flying today brought with it some apprehension early on, but soaring up in the sky changed everything. Well, you know, when I woke up at three o'clock this morning thinking, what am I doing? <laughs> By the time I got on the plane, it became exciting and even more exciting as it took off and the air blowing in your face. And it was an exciting experience. I didn't know whether to be afraid or be excited. <laughs> so I just decided I'd be excited. What was the best part of the flight? Yeah, the view? Okay, Anne. We're calling you the queen of the steermen for the day. How is that? Okay. 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 Something happens in that airplane when, when, when you're in your 90s and you get in there and you get back out, you have energy that you didn't have. Um, one of my ground crew said it's like a time machine. They go in at 90 and they come out at 50. <laughs> it's just a wonderful thing to give to these folks and uh, you know, we get a lot out of it too. Looking good, Ron. Thank you, thank you. 20 more, I'll be right back. 20 more? I'll give her 20 more, all right? <laughs> 20 more of these. <laughs> Ron, you kidding me? Must have eyes in the back of her head or something. Anyway, from an air show to a stage show, let me introduce you to the oldest act of professional entertainers. It's the Forever Young Band. You're in for a real treat. So am I. Ron! Joining with many other talented acts, the Forever Young Band took the stage for a performance at the Galaxy of Stars show in Huntington Beach. Forever Young, America's oldest act of professional entertainers with more than 600 and 30 years of experience collectively. Most of these entertainers, of course, are over the age of 90. Please put your hands together now. Forever Young. Old bones inside an old raincoat. Old bones inside of old shoes. Old friends from the hotel come by to wish me well. Be up to date on all the old news. International language, music, no matter what kind it is, it does bring people together. And, and there's so much that we share in common. And, and, and it's, it's a wonderful gift of music. Might not be much more than I've ever been. And it's fun. It's always fun to get together with people to sing and share something in common. And uh, I've loved music all my life. If you have any kind of energy or talent, share that, no matter what your age is. Working with these, these elderly, enthusiastic, energetic uh, musicians and dancers is just amazing. I mean, when you're talking about somebody 92 years old who's tap dancing like crazy on a stage and, and somebody who's playing the banjo and the guitar and the drums and the sax and the clarinet, and it still can do it. And it gives you hope, doesn't it? it gives you hope, yes. <laughs>
whenever I hear that we are about to perform, I get very happy because I, I love music and I love dancing. And I've been dancing since I was eight years old. And uh, not quite so much during the time I was raising four sons, but uh, never really stopped dancing. And, uh, and I, I feel good when I'm dancing. I, the music really talks to me. I love to tap. Sometimes when I've been home alone and the television's on and the jazz comes, I have to get up and dance because the music tells me, you know, what to do. And I never do the same thing twice. I just have a group of, of uh, tap steps that I know and love. And uh, so each choreography is a bit different. You know, when other people who are 60 and 70 look at us and know that we're in our 80s and 90s, I hope it gives them encouragement to know they're not only going to be around for a while, but they're going to be doing active, fun, entertaining things. I think it's important that we could at least give that message. The reason we do it is to inspire young people. In fact, everybody. And uh, I tell them, don't, if you have a dream or a goal, don't let anybody tell you you can't do it. Thomas Edison had a thousand failures before he invented electric lights. So you just got to hang in there. And, uh, that, and we also do it for fun. It keeps us going. So we're just going to keep going and keep having fun and pray that we can cheer up people for a long time to come. I don't know about tap dancing, but I want to stay in shape and keep moving till I'm in my 90s too. Well, moving every day is the best way to stay in shape. Just remember that. Okay. And remember that I will, Gail. And thanks for helping me out today and giving me some great tips on how to stay in shape. You're, you're something else. You're a drill sergeant. Well, you know that? <laughs> well, thanks for coming in. I appreciate it. <laughs> Thank you. And I hope you were inspired too. Take care of yourself and look into the countless opportunities for seniors throughout Orange County. To find out what's happening near you, contact your city. Thanks for joining me today. I'm Ron Roberson, and I'll see you next time on Young at Heart. Absolutely. Lightweight. Uh, watch watch uh, people in here. <laughs> I don't know. How come it won't go? Press start. <laughs> you know, you got jokes, you don't you, Gail? <laughs> I, I also know where you parked your car. <laughs> I'll give her 20, all right. <laughs> 20 of these. Ron, are you kidding? <laughs> well, let me, let me, um... Oh. <laughs> well, you couldn't wait to get to that part, huh? That's your favorite part, huh? You just couldn't wait to yell at me, right? When you're working out, you always want to stretch, and you... Yeah, there's one on every set. Oh. Ah. <laughs> I, I, I tell you, folks, I, I got to make new friends. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. You see that, Tony? Huh? Do you need your wide angle lens for that, bro? <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> I cannot fit your chest. Yeah, yeah, that's why the wide angle lens would work there. You need wide angle. I'm, I am so sorry. All right, folks, as you can see, I've got everything all built up. I feel marvelous shoulders and got the abs working, too. <laughs> oh, thank you.